So today I want to talk about 10 unusual Chinese food that Chinese people eat. Some simply because um, they're really delicious and some because of their medicinal purposes. One is snake soup. Snake soup is slightly sweet and it is said that the texture of the snake resembles the texture of chicken. Um, according to traditional Chinese medicine, it is good to improve the quality of your skin and at the same time improve your energy level. One year, I traveled to Taiwan and there were straight four up snake stores. Um, but they're not selling snake, they're selling snake soup. So I walk in, I was so scared. But um, I just had to have one sip because I want to tell people that, yes, I had snake soup before. So number two are bear's paws. Very rare delicacy, even back in the ancient time. It was only served to the rich um, during like banquets. Because according to Chinese medicine, bear's paws help to improve your energy level. And nowadays, it becomes even more rare because bears are in danger. Um, I don't think that eating bears is illegal anymore, is it? And especially, I just can't imagine how can you eat your favorite teddy bear's hands like that. Number three are frogs. So frogs, um, you can stir fry them, you can stew them, you can deep fry, anything you want. According to traditional Chinese medicine, they release toxins inside your body. Even if you go to Chinese supermarket, you can always see live frogs. They're quite scary. Alright, but when I was young, I actually had frogs before because in Chinese, it is called tian ji and ji means chicken. So I thought it means sweet chicken or something. Number four, cicadas. I think that's how you pronounce it, right? Cicadas. Uh, cicadas is an insect that people have been eating it since the ancient Greek. According to traditional Chinese medicine, cicadas can help to treat your coughing and at the same time itchy skin or like rashes on your body. Number five, pig's blood. Finally, we're getting into something more usual, right? I think it's pretty usual. Pig's blood, they make into tofu look-alike shape and they cut it into cubes so you can put it in soup. It has a lot of iron. It helps to replenish blood inside your body. And number six, pig's ears. So crunchy in the middle and it has a lot of collagen. Um, so it helps to make your skin more beautiful and look younger. And this one I absolutely love because I grew up eating them. You can eat it with congee or eat it as an appetizer. And number seven, chicken butt. Chicken butt. grow them or deep fry them. They almost look like chicken popcorn from KFC, but they're not. It's known for their juicy and fatty texture. This one I really don't get. Number eight, we're talking about bird's nest. And it's made from yanzi, a type of bird saliva. It has so much antioxidant in it. Number nine, we're talking about stinky tofu. Finally, finally, something I'm crazy about. I know the stinky tofu, a lot of people don't get. People might think that I'm crazy. They really smelly, that's true, but when you eat them, they're like 10 times better than any types of tofu. And um, I had it in Taiwan. Just say that stinky tofu is like cheese from the East. Last but not least, number 10, sea cucumbers. Type of food that I grew up eating them. The name sounds quite normal, like sea cucumber, but it's actually a type of animal inside the sea. It's a beauty food to Chinese people because it has so much uh, minerals, so much vitamins, like 50 types of active substances. It's about 10 unusual items, 10 unusual food delicacies. So comment below and let me know what other items that you think they're quite unusual. Perhaps it's durian, century egg, or chicken feet. Oh, I love chicken feet. Okay, so share this video comment and subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet and i'll see you in the next episode bye